It's about a quarter to 10 on this Saturday morning. It is time now to imagine it. What better way to follow up Pizza Palooza than with some ice cream? The chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, is here. Normally when we talk ice cream, you don't need to put on safety goggles. Today you're going to because yeah. we're using liquid nitrogen. This is one of my favorite things. <laughs> it is 320 degrees below zero. Wow. It is always boiling. Kind of a weird thought that something that's very cold can be boiling, but yeah. boiling has nothing to do with temperature. We're gonna use the fact that this stuff is so cold. We're gonna make liquid nitrogen ice cream, but we're not gonna do it in a bowl. We're gonna have a little fun with it. Okay. We're gonna make it on marshmallow sticks. <laughs> and these are chopsticks. These are chopsticks, exactly. <laughs> and that also, keeps, your, keeps your fingers away from the nitrogen. That's true. You also brought jumbo marshmallows, which jumbo I really marshmallows. appreciate. Jumbo marshmallows, absolutely. <laughs> so the process here is what we're gonna do is we're quickly gonna just cool down your marshmallow a little bit in the liquid nitrogen. Pop it down in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And three different mixtures. You can plunge right into the strawberry there, get a coating on, dip it back into the nitrogen. That's gonna freeze a layer of ice cream on back into the strawberry. I'm gonna do the banana flavor here. Oh, nice. And we're just gonna do this a few times Ooh. to build up a nice <laughs> layer. Dripping is okay, that's part of the fun. And this is such a great activity to do at the Science Center because you can talk about states of matter, boiling, freezing, deposition. There's all sorts of great physical science that goes on with this. And Tony, once you dip in there, we're gonna yeah. do a little, we we'll do a fun thing here. We're actually gonna switch through. Swap. Oh, nice. I'm gonna take yours, you take mine. This time, <laughs> only go halfway. Okay. Only go halfway. And you can actually have fun building up like different colors on top of your nitro pops. And what's call these in the mixture nitro down pops. here? Well, in the mixtures, actually, that's a great question. It is uh, one part sugar, one part whole milk, two parts heavy whipping cream. And in fact, you can do this activity at home. If you go to our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org, you can actually find instructions to do this without liquid nitrogen. Oh, good. It's really easy to do. All you need is some rock salt, a couple Ziploc bags, and you can have your own ice cream at home. Wow. Now, one, do one more quick freeze here. I got one more, one more final touch. I'm thinking you just gave some kids an idea for a roadside stand <laughs> instead of uh, lemonade. It, it could be. Oh. So one more, one more yeah, dash yeah, in there. Sorry, I'm just getting greedy. You, I know, you, you, you got to finish it off with a dash of chocolate. That is terrific. Right? <laughs> if the chocolate comes out of the container, Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's frozen. It's one of those uh, magic go. shells. <laughs> it is a magic shell, and you can even make it more of a magic shell by dipping it into the nitrogen, oh, freezing nice. it really quickly. <laughs> and now yeah. this, is, this is the fun part. If, you're, if you so desire, you can take a bite of that and, and tell me how it tastes. I do desire. All right, well, this is going to be a, an awkward moment of silence. So go ahead and tell us about the Imagination Station. Yeah, if you come down today, Saturday, Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free with a paid mm. adult admission. You might even see us doing some nitro pops down at the Science Center or making liquid nitrogen ice cream. It's just one of those fun things we do with science. Now that's a fun treat for kids to come that's down good. and get in on this action. Oh, this is delicious. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm so Enjoy. glad you thought of the new shell. <laughs> All right, that is this week's delicious Imagine It. We're gonna turn it now over to Dave in sports while I sit here with Carl and enjoy our nitrogen pops.